Hello guys, Making Magic here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today we are creating a simple drawing mechanic in Unity, and it's gonna be quite awesome. So yeah, uh, we don't need to talk much about that now. So let's just open up Unity, and I'm showing you how the mechanic will act and work. So this is the, how the scene will look outside the game mode, but if you play uh, if you play the scene, you'll be able to draw and create different shapes and objects with this tool or mechanic that we'll be creating. So yeah, let's get right into the creation. I'll be just deleting this object, this is basically the main thing we'll be creating. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is how the scene should look like when you open it up. Just um, the background might be a different color, but you can change that now under main camera and background and to black. Uh, first thing first, uh, we'll be going into scene, and uh, this is how the camera should look like. Uh, set everything to zero except the scale and the position on the Y. Uh, you can change that to zero if you want to, but you can change everything to zero basically. Uh, but what we'll be creating now is a new game object. So game object create empty, and we'll be dra dragging it and dropping it under main camera. So position, reset the position on all the axes to zero, of course, and drag it a bit in front of the camera. A bit more, maybe two, three quad quadrants. Quadrants. We don't need direction light, so we'll be deleting it. Really. Okay, now we can drag it out of the main camera and unchild it. So, uh, what we'll be dropping now on our game object is a script called drawback that I uh, creating using help on Unity answers. I never got into how to make uh, mouse co how to make objects follow the mouse cursor, but I found the answer and it's basically pr quite simple. So uh, variable depth is basically we'll be using this in the update. Uh, on the start, the cursor dot visible equals true. Uh, this we'll just check that the cursor is visible because I want it to vi be visible. If you don't want it to be visible, just draw, uh, just uh, write false here. So in the update, if we press uh, the mouse button, so uh, left mouse button, and we if we hold uh, if we hold it. Uh, the variable mouse position equals input dot mouse position. This is basically uh, the variable that we're declaring. Uh, we're declaring a variable that will depend on the position of a mouse. So, uh, and the variable wanted position is basically where our object where we want our object to be. So, variable wanted position equals camera dot mind screen dot to world point. That means that will be. Uh, not on screen, but will be in a world. Uh, that means that I don't know how to explain it, but we'll be using units from world screen. I don't know how to say it. And a uh, vector tree that means all three uh, position x, y, and z. Uh, so our wanted position will equal to mouse position on x, so mouse position the variable mouse position x, mouse position y, and variable mouse position equals input of mouse position. So it will follow it on y and x axis and death, which is 10. Uh, transform dot position and it will and transfer dot position basically it's uh, where transfer dot position we use this to declare where our object will be and it will be on the wanted position. And if we unpress the button, if we get the button up, so if we unclick it, it will destroy the script. So yes, that's it for this object. This is it. And uh, we'll be adding to this object a trail renderer. So add component, trail renderer. Uh, this is basically what we'll uh, draw on our screen. So. Uh, under the material, uh, I'll be including this material, 
as a unity package you just uh, double click it and export it in here and it will create a nice looking uh, material if you don't want it you can use any other materials over here and uh, we won't be touching anything of that we'll be just setting the time to something bigger 100 this is basically the time uh, where where the renderer will disappear uh, start with we'll leave that as it is change that to red we're gonna create a nice rainbow looking effect we're gonna go down this scale nice looking effect as I said okay this looks quite nice <laughs> I mean it doesn't look nice yet but it will it will so now we wanna create a prefab create prefab and we're gonna name it pencil the or something pencil you if you want it to be I don't know whatever you want it to be and we can delete it now. We can create another game object, create it empty, and set it under my camera. Reset the position again, as we did, as we did in the other object, in the last one. So reset the position. Drag it a bit in, out uh, in front of the camera, and add a component. Just draw. This one is just draw. So uh, open it up, just to quickly explain it, it's basically the same, just a few things are changed. So this is all the same, just the variable pencil over here is different. This is all the same, all the same, just we, have on, we only have a fixed update function over here, which is basically the same as update. And if you press um, the left mouse button, it will instantiate, so it will spawn pencil, pencil object over here under that on and it will keep the position the duration of the object so basically uh, this is uh, so if we pr uh, so this is how we will create our drawing mechanic it will be instantiating those objects that will be if we we'll unpress the button will be destroyed so only the scripts so that way we'll be keeping uh, the line okay so we can close it up and we can just add the pencil over here pencil object is our pencil draw and if we play it should work flawlessly and it works so guys thank you for watching uh, you're awesome uh, thank you for all the support lately I've been I've been getting quite more views uh, in the past days and I'm really enjoying it uh, so yeah it's uh, it's been quite good period for now so yeah thanks again for being awesome guys please like subscribe and share and see you next time bye